Hello friends. So before we begin part two of the 6x6 mini album, I want to start by saying that I've created the album. This was the output of the tutorial <clears throat> right here. This is what we're going to be making. However, <clears throat> I made a mistake with the measurement of the paper. That's the only difference. Everything is the same as what I'm telling you, but... I forgot to tell you that the 6x6 six six paper, you're going to cut this to 5 and 3 quarters. Otherwise, you're going to have that effect of it is so exact that it's coming out. You see what I mean? Like this. I just realized that looking at the, my, my notebook, like I forgot to cut everything at 5 and 3 quarters. <clears throat> everything will be the same. The scoring will be the same. <clears throat> the process will be the same, but the base page needs to be five and three quarters by five and three quarters so that it will be absolutely perfect. It already looks great. All of these, the measurements are going to be the same. It's just you have to cut your pages. Your base page needs to be five and three fourths by five and three fourths. <clears throat> So with that said, I hope you enjoy part two of the DIY 6x6 mini album. Let's get started! Hello friends, welcome back. This is part two of the 6x6 album. Today we're going to be creating the inside portion of our album. So to show you what we're going to be creating, we're going to be creating these pages and the flaps and these um, interactive elements. We're going to be creating all those. It's going to be so much fun and super, super easy. We're going to be creating that, this waterfall feature, and that's pretty much it. The third part will be putting the decorative portions, the magnet and everything. That's going to be for part three. So if you want to just see the decorative decorating portion of the video, please stay tuned and watch part three. This is this video part two is creating the inside pages plus the interactive portions of your album. Um, so last last time, just a recap, we created our box. We created, you know, the box container for it. That's what we did. And then we also created the base of the album plus the hidden hinge system. I'm going to put a link in the description box for all of the rest of the parts so you can have access to everything. And it's all right here. So this is what we're going to be playing with today. Set aside the box base because we're not touching that today. So essentially what you need to do is you need to identify 6x6 six six paper. You can use your 12x12 12 12 and cut it to 6x6. Six six. But right now we're identifying I, I need 5 6 by 6 that will serve as your page. So I'm selecting 5 right here. Um, that's cute. 3, 4. I would probably make that into like a cover of some sort. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. The yellow, I couldn't use this because I... That's okay. This one. So we've identified five of that. And I also need one page of plain white. Plain white, buttery soft. So... We're going to need four sheets of 12 by 12 white paper. This paper now is from Hobby Lobby. They're buttery soft, super, super amazing. And you're going to need a six by six from this one. So let's, let's score that. Six by six. I love this cutter so much. I feel like we are memory keepers is such a genius. Okay, so these are your pages essentially. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's your hidden hinge. You're also going to be needing six more uh, six by six to add to the pages. It's like your extra, extra bits. This is what I'm talking about. So we've selected these base pages. The base page is here. One, two, three, four, 
five six is your base page so I may need to use I may need to use this one for the, the page so I can use so that's one two three four five six okay so we have this I need six more of the six by six to create these you see the interactive tabs that adds to it that's what we need to we need to figure out which one because I have limited resources when it comes to I only bought one pack of this it's okay we will make do I have I also bought this one to serve as extra so I'm gonna be using also these to add to our base pages or to add to our flaps I feel like it's gonna be it's gonna be okay it's gonna be cute to add to our ensemble right there so I'm gonna mix it up okay don't worry okay so we're gonna mix it up we're gonna be cutting when I come back, I already have six of six inches of these. Okay, guys, I am back. And when I was cutting these, I realized, like, you know what? You don't have to just use printed cardstock as base. You can definitely use petite prints to give a variety to it. So that's what we're going to be doing. And I use the leftover 6x6 six six, um, right here to, to be also as part of um, your your extra interactive piece. So let's identify, this is gonna be, we're identifying the base page first. Let's do that. Is it too close? Nope, that's too stripey. And do this. We could do um, kind of pink or orange. So this is the hardest part for me is choosing the paper collection, like the, the sheets. That's cute right there. We can add, it can't be too polka dotty either. So let's add the stripes. That'd be so cute. And then we need one more right there. That's our base page. Okay. Next. Oh, six. I need six. One, two, three, four, five. Yellow. Okay. So we need six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's that. That's what we're going to be using as base page. We're going to set this aside. Now we have to identify six of the tabs obviously this is it one two three four five six that's going to be our additional um interactive page so the interactive page is the one that we're going to be scoring at three and three and a quarter so i'm going to set this aside i'm going to get this and we're going to start scoring and you're going to understand a little bit further once we start doing the scoring so this you're going to score at three and three and one fourth okay three and three and one fourth you're just going to do that for all of those that's why i want you to identify early on what is your base page and what is your interactive page it's going to be so fun i'm excited to do part three which is the decorating portion and this project, it may seem like daunting, but it's so simple. Thanks to Kathy Orta King, Kathy Orta King, she invented the hidden hinge system, which is so amazing. Okay, so this is what I'm talking to you about. You're going to, you're going to score and burnish all of that. Okay, I'm going to do that and I'm going to do that offline kind of thing because we need to create our accordion we're going to be making um we're going to be making two accordions one is a four by four and one is a uh, three by one is three by four and one is four by four so that's what we're going to be doing let me just do it let's just do it together you know what i want to edit anyways let's just do it together in spite of the fact that this is going to be a super long ass video it's okay we're just going to do it together. You're doing this with me. You can pause. Um, 
get some tea maybe or have have a cup of coffee maybe get a snack in between it's gonna be a long video but you know what it's a free class it's okay you can restart where you left off you can make it faster if you want to so we've scored that we're gonna set all of this aside let's just make our let's just make our accordion the accordion is so easy i love this and i learned this from Paige evans actually okay so we're gonna score first accordion score at three six and nine turn it you're gonna score at four and eight super easy next you're gonna move this and you're going to score uh, you're going to cut you can use obviously you can use your scissors to do this but i realized that i'm already here and then you cut you cut from here down so this you leave attached you're going to turn and this time you're going to leave this attached and this one you're going to cut oh it's exactly the same as what we did and then you just do that that's it and then when you fold it you fold it like however you want but it's going to be a accordion fold like that then this goes down and then your accordion fold it again and then this goes here that's why you leave it attached so they're all attached together so my friend this is your accordion mini album just like that this is it so we're going to set that aside we're going to make the four by four which is essentially scoring at four and eight turn and score at a four and eight that is it all done four score to eight turn your paper do the same exact thing isn't that easy so easy this time you're going to cut it from here to here and from here to there okay we're gonna do it manually this time so i can show you so here cut then turn it leave this open and do the same thing for this side That is that isn't that so easy i feel like it is so easy there is nothing to it and then you just fold mountains and valleys and all the jazz right there then you fold it again fold it again fold it again and this is your album and then you can just decorate away. You can get, like, I made this because I wanted to use these. Isn't that cute? It's part of the collection. Let me see if I have. I don't think I have 4x4, four four, honestly. But I do have these and these so we can just flip. That would be so much fun. I think. Yeah, I don't think I have by four cut aparts in this collection i may not yep there is no four by four cut aparts next we need to identify our waterfall feature okay so that's going to be the next portion of our video okay friends so the waterfall feature is so simple um not even kidding you just need you just need six sheets of four by four that's all okay so we're gonna be we're gonna be cutting four by fours right here okay so that that's cute you can use that like that essentially you're just gonna need three sheets of something different i love this project because it doesn't use so much like you could be you could have i love the concept of creative restraint always always 
because I feel like the more restrictive, restricted your um, resources are, the more creative you become. Instead of being overwhelmed with materials. So that's another. That's another 4x4. Four four. We need six of this. So one more of this umbrella. So cute. And then we're going to do some scoring. Oh, this is so cute. The green is adorable. And it's floral. Okay, let's use this one. This is so cute. Right there. I think I'm going to use the collage for the cover. Four. And four. The decorating portion is going to be the last. That's going to be the last video. Which is part three. I hope you stay tuned for that. I hope you come back for that. Because part one, we constructed just the basics. Part two is we're creating the pages. And then part three is us decorating everything. Putting maybe like a potentially a shaker page cover. I don't know. Because I have a shaker mix right here. So I definitely want to use that. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. That's what we want. Next, we're going to be scoring. And we're going to be scoring uh, identify which is the top this one is easy top okay so we're gonna at the top portion you're going to be scoring one fourth of an inch that's it one fourth this one doesn't have any orientation this one does so when we do this I want this to be here like that so I want to score right there because I don't want the umbrellas to be upside down when I flip it. Does that make sense? So be mindful of those little nuances right there. This is, I can't do anything about it because this is the front. And then this one I can't do anything about because it has a specific orientation. So for the things that we can control, do it. If not, then I think you can do about it. So that's our waterfall. Oh my God, we are done. Now we're going to assemble everything, which is so, so easy and fun. So we are back. Our hinge system is back. And what we need to do is either you can use your um, wet glue. I'm using my wet glue, so it gives me time to kind of finagle with it. If I feel like I need to make some adjustments... I would use my glue for it. So this one, I'm going to be inserting this right here. So this album is six by six, right? So essentially you just glue it right there. Sometimes you have to negotiate with your glue. It is, it gives you time, but it dries as well. So just keep on adding your glue until it's finally decided to listen to you. So that's the first part is we're attaching. We're attaching our pages first, right? And then you fold it like that. Okay. Then this is next. I wouldn't overflow it with glue either because that would not be a good thing as well. So I would align it top and bottom. Make sure that it's aligned so that when you fold it, it's not all wonky. So you're aligning top, bottom, and then here. That's it. Then keep on adding your pages. I like my wet glue for this, but obviously you can use whatever you want. I would not use glue gun, honestly. That would be the last thing I would be using. Not unless that's all you have. In that case, you have to be quick. Like, glue it so fast. And you cannot change your mind. That's why I use different kind of adhesives for different purposes. Next. Keep on going. You know, it may be a good time to stop for tea. Maybe pause the video if you want to. Get a snack. Because how long has it been since you've been sitting here? Snack break, maybe? 
feel free to pause the video, get a snack. Cheese and apples would be yummy. Or what else? What else would be good? Cookies. Or banana bread. Oh, banana bread and tea. Earl Grey tea. That sounds so good right now. Okay, next. Now that you're back from your break, now we're still attaching this. Still the same. Still doing what we were doing earlier. Because I didn't get a break. You did. But. I hope you had a great snack break. Still doing our album, still attaching our pages. That's it. This is our last one. And the last of them all. Oh my gosh, this is done. Super easy. I think if you want to add the square, you can if you want to. I think for this time, I am not going to do this for this one. I feel like I just want to stick to this. So now you can see we've added it, right? We've added our pages. You just burnish and make sure that it's all attached well. So that's what I'm doing. I'm making sure... That nothing is attached somewhere else just do a good kind of run through on all of the things are they attached whatever I want to cover this that's why we have the second part because I don't like what it looks like it bothers me being that it's on the printed cardstock next this is what we're doing this for see what I mean so I would prefer that the white this goes right here so this you attach right there see the one fourth of an inch you put your glue and have it kiss this portion so that your hinge is hidden and only you know isn't this so easy the easiest part ever smack dab easy no problem this folds like that see it's an interactive page and it covers your hidden hinge another option for you my friend is to create a pocket using this one so if you want two pockets you just glue here glue here glue here glue here and then attach the other friend that's another option you can use you can put photos it extends the real estate of your project tremendously just by adding that simple step and we're covering the hinge that we didn't want to see to begin with. You know, it's always good. It's good, good, good. What did I do? Oh, right there. Add. Got me confused a little. Kind of fuzzled. Gina says kind of fuzzled. I get people kind of fuzzled. And then you do this, and then you fold this, and then you're done. I, the glue, what happened to the glue? <laughs> it took me forever, maybe. So I put the glue here, and that's it. Right there. It's good practice to do this and to make sure that it is getting attached. Because you want a clean album. That's pretty. That's done. I think a pocket would be super cute. So let's do a pocket just for funsies. Or you can use your score tape. Nothing. No big deal. You can create a pocket. And then you put your... I don't think you can create a pocket with this one. Can you? Yes, I can. Yeah. Let's do a pocket. So that's a different way to do it also. To make it more interactive for your clients or for yourself. So now you created a pocket. Didn't attach very well. Because I was impatient. Christian, please wait until user error. Until your glue is set. Please and thank you. Then you do the same thing. 
this time we're going to be using the rubber duckies. Okay, and then you attach. Right there. See, that's the beauty of using wet glue. It gives you it gives you those precious seconds to make your adjustment. And then when you're ready, you just burnish and go. So essentially we're adding all this. Again, if you want if you want a pocket, feel free to do a pocket. If you don't want a pocket, then add your interactive portions. No problem. It's better to attach it to the hidden hinge because it's cute. So we do this and then we I think uh, that's too pink. It's getting too pink. So we'll just use these. You're going to notice that your album is getting bulkier at this point. Which is awesome. We're just using very little amounts of paper. And it's getting so much better. I love it. That's fun. Do that. Do this. Done. Secured. Next, we're going to do our last two, and then after this, so cute, so cute. How's it so far? Are you enjoying it so far? This, I feel like, is the longest video I've ever made because, man, it's in three parts, and I'm just filming it one straight shot. So I started today with the first video, which is your base. I'm supposed to be going to my best friend's house, but I'm going to be late because I want to finish the video. So I can release it before I have my weekend on. So you guys have something to do that weekend while I work. You guys are creating the 6x6 album. Right there. Right there. I may probably do the live with the decorating. So part three will be probably a live tomorrow. So I can publish all both of these today. Potentially Thursday. We'll see how it goes. Last one. Because today's Thursday. I can try to publish it today and then part three will be will be on YouTube. Part 3, decorating. So it's going to be fun and interactive and everybody gets to see what we're doing. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. Easy. Easy. The hinge is not seen that's perfect look at our album so far that's awesome we're not definitely we're not going to be decorating it okay so this is what we have so far next we're going to do the waterfall the waterfall essentially is is just folding I'm not going to put it right here. Probably going to put it on the pink. The waterfall starts right here. I always start your waterfall on the bottom. I tried to start it up top. It's not a good idea. So let me make the mistake for the both of us. Because I'm already here. So you're just essentially adding it one waterfall at a time. This is what I'm doing. I'm just putting it right there, flush right there, and then folding it. The same, maybe not this, maybe this.
right there. Now I'm going to start attaching it a little bit higher, just a wee bit higher, because we have two left. You know, you can approximate it however you prefer, as long as it is straight. Last one, which is the umbrella. And then I would add this flush. I hope you can see what I'm doing. My head is probably gonna be in the way because I cannot see. Okay, so I would put it flush up top. If you want, if you want to. Otherwise, it's your call. So now we have your waterfall. It's done, done, done. Next, this one is your 12 by 12, 12 by 12 paper, and you made this into a 4 by 4 accordion. What we're going to be doing, let me close this real quick. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be using this one, and we're going to add, we're going to be adding to the back. Very simple solution. Oh my gosh, this is too short. Right there. Okay. And I prefer if you cut it more instead of short. So that's how we're going to close it. That's the closure right there. But what we're going to do is we're going to attach it here and here so that we can use this as like a tuck spot essentially. I mean, we're going to decorate this front portion. It's just we're constructing the page. Center it nice and solid. And then this allows you to use the side portion for tucking things like ephemera or tags right there on the side. This one would be a nice photo of the baby. This one would be a nice photo of the baby as well. We use that. We use this one. So this would probably be good for the same. We're doing the same exact thing. So attach. Attach your... Oh, I forgot. This one. I mean, you don't have to be super intense with that. I just want it attached. And nothing major, nothing, nothing super special. I'm just folding it and then same, same exact mento. Remember that this will have decorative layers to it so don't worry that it looks plain because these babies are going to go right there during the live i feel like i decided that we're going to do a live for part three i think it's going to be so much more fun having everybody there to join us so that is the end oh my gosh that was faster than i thought that is done we've added our pages to our project let me, let me add a little dab of blueness here so we've created our pages we've created our extra interactive portions we've created our accordion and we've created our waterfall feature for this album it's good to have a formula sometimes when you're creating and then now we can add it to here essentially easy and fun and then you cover. So part three will be alive on Friday. That's going to be where we decorate everything. We put all the bells and whistles. Potentially we can add like a shaker somewhere. I think it's going to be so much fun. We can add our shoes that we made. Um, like the shaker shoes would be super fun also to add. But that is what we created today. We've created the pages and the interactive portion of your album. So stay tuned for the live on Friday where we 
do all of the cuteness. We're going to add all the things, the decoration, the cut aparts, the tags that we're going to do extra for this project. So I hope you come back on Friday during the live where we create and transform the blank sheets of paper, the flat papers into something absolutely magical. Thank you so much for watching part two and I will see you on Friday. Bye now.